anti-mobility, maybe an orchid carrier. He's it's played Marana mid. Oh wait, it's, it's we're saying band is yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, they're at least for the time being on the table. It's the ward battle rages in the mid lane, but Seneco able to keep Alliance deprived of sentries here, so it's gonna force the Phoenix to stick around, lest S4 get overrun. This lane, mid lane, back and forth early on, a 2v2. Thus far, we see free farm for the Lycan down towards bottom, up in the safe lane. Uh, some aggression out of the Batrider who may end up going down here. He will fall in the end. General brought down as Alliance chase him out. EGM and Loda combining, so a crucial first blood, slowing down the bat. And doesn't look like there's any time to stack too much for him. He does have that double large camp Ake and Seneko around the pit. Ake gonna drop just a freebie for Seneko. Avi supports getting a ton out of the laning stage. EGM keeping right behind Bulldog to make sure that there's not an attempted maneuver. Here comes the rotation though. Arta with the instant TB, but EGM ready there with the lift. Alliance bring in three. They get the kill on the bench. And they he's building an urn after his early phase. And yeah, Suniko, as you mentioned, I think his levels are more boy. Suniko with the courier snipe. He shoots, he scores. An easy pick there for Suniko. He can move in onto S4 potentially. Uh, not gonna. Not gonna go for it. S4 actually blinks on Dendi. Will they get punished? Rubik's there. Some sort of summons, like Beastmaster, this game will be Lycan. The Invoker isn't Quaswex, so no Force Spirits. Uh, but I think in general, Armlet is just way stronger than the Vanguard right now. Bulldog, this is a really bad kill if he gives it up. And they are moving on to him, goes for the Sprout, catches up to Nako, the Crush is on two. Floda was ready for it. Navi overextending to give both up. Alliance, bring the trap. Beautiful. Great TP by Loda, level six, picks up the plus one on the Bounty Hunter with the Amp. And so now gives up the lane, is up towards top, our Batrider being pressured here. The Sunray's going, they've lifted him up, General dead again! This Batrider, Fog talked about how much General has done in past games, but he's just not getting the start. He's General marshalling his forces, Roshan still at around half HP. Sentry outside the pit though, good scout Seneko. There's the blink initiation, drags Loda up onto the cliff, keeping the Slaughter out of this picture for a long time. Loda won't be able to contribute much, and that will put a pretty big halt to the Roshan. Now the MP Tornado following this one up with the counter Tornado comes out from EGM. Bulldogs trapped and sprouts himself inside the pit, looks to run away. Arxile cancels that, first track kill that came to Navi, and the whole team's here, and Loda is still completely a non-factor of this fight. It begins with the general bat after an awful start. They look to steal the road while also killing the big fish. They've gotten three. They've gotten a four hero track kill. And now be careful here. It would be a 13 minute dieback if general grabs him. He goes for EGM though. Loda's going to have to pursue him out, but the wolves surround him. That's a track kill again. Navi finding big kills here. The gold is going to add up. Rather rapidly at that, they've now tracked Loda. They're just waiting for that crush to come out before they fully commit, but he's getting cold snapped down into submission. Navi have gotten a second kill. Now they want to disengage. S4 chases forward onto Dendi. We'll find the counter kill here. They might get the Lycan as well. Arxile burning to the Sunray. Ake okay, should be able to finish him off. That's going to be a two for two with Navi getting track kills. It says, get out of here. They're trying to heal him up. There's the Sunray from Ake, but Navi converge on it. There's the swoop through. Trying to jump forward, General leaping into the pit, S4 is going to grab the Aegis, it is a dire last hit, so so far so good for Alliance, at long last they get that rose, but they lose Loda again, out for 40, it's up to S4 to turn this, he can swap back in the rest of the team, Navi didn't seem to be expecting as they were all heading the other way, but they crack the Aegis, they move forward, do they chase for additional kills, they're very low at this point, and S4, he's angry with how things have gone, blinks up onto the high ground, Shadow Strikes Dendi, looking for the follow up kills here, two have fallen, so they get more. Bulldog chases. Stops the Midas to creep. And that'll be that. Oof. Thought he was really close to hitting a blind scream. Coming out from S4. Yeah, actually got clipped by the, the ghost walk slow there as he moved in. And because of the bounty hunter and Lycan, I think it'd be... Now be well show, justified. Showing to mid wall simultaneously coming on the top side and they last West 4. He generally actually drags himself back into Loda who gets up the crush, trying to rev up for the Sonic Wave, but he's totally chained stunned. Walked down, Loda next, Loda will fall. That is two gigantic kills for Navi who all had a terrible start too. Gives up first blood. Level three when Loda was six, but man has he turned it around. And Bon on the bottom lane, Bulldog getting chased down. Oh, this is another track kill. No escape for Bulldog. It's not going to be an easy game for him. And Navi show why the matchup 
just pull someone back after they get lassoed. Oh, I, I brought up the idea of the, the late invoker mech, but forget about that. You've got Seneko who's already managed to get one. 19 minutes. And while that was going on, an alliance are going to immediately smoke and move in. They're looking for the jump here. Who do they get first? Loda whiff on the crush to start this thing off. And now General going for the deep last one. S4, can they first the Mechwe to pain? It's so important. He chucks out the ult, but it's as he dies with his last breath. They're already down to Queen of Pain and a Phoenix. They've gotten nothing out of this fight so far. And Alliance is pushed out for that Midas to kick in. And Navi, all they want to do is fight now. They actually have level two track already. Oh, Sineko. General. Moving down bottom to a debut. That level two track S4 has been scouted out here. Tornado going to catch him. They've gotten the track on him. That's a big bucket of gold for Navi. I think three heroes in range for that. And it's a long time on the sidelines. But Alliance are split pushing here. Bulldog in the mid lane with Loda at his side. Phoenix working very comfortable near the Radiant Seeker shop, knowing that Navi is around the Roshan pit. They do move on to General here. They catch him out. That gem is crucial, but he four steps away, and now Navi may look to chase. Oh, BOTs now online for General, hunting for Bulldog. The long range tornado comes out. They will actually clip, and they're going to go for this one. Lasso dragging Bulldog back. He thought he was safe. He was at his tier two, but it's under your tower. Well, Navi will die if you kill you. This time they won't take the tower too, but uh, here we go. Oh, good reactions there by Ake. That is going to debut the uh, the BOT level twos. Instead, they chase on the EGM here. General may go for him instead. The track comes out. They're literally diving him to the tier three tower. Where's my team, says EGM? Oh, they're not there. That's for damn sure. Ake dies as well. Two down. But the team, they're split pushing. And every big pushing item, aside from a pipe, I believe. Drums, flads, AC, Necrobook. Crimson Guard, Mech. This team is devastating in five man. They're gonna start it off by chipping away at Loda here. The Slardar is instantly forced to run. He goes back the other way and he still gets lassoed. That's another track kill. Navi raking in the gold at this point. Dodging and dodging and dodging. But what happens when Navi are pushing up your T3 with Aegis, with Cheese, with DKBs? How are they going to take it? Well, we're about to find out. They mow down the road. And whether you try to cover your children's eyes or not. And Navi continue to make things happen. The BKB debut. The last is on S4. Can they get that kill as well? Lycan chopping at him, but can't finish him off there. Pretty good counter initiation from the Phoenix of Ake to hang on and look to turn this fight still, though. He holds the Aegis. Alliance need a lot more. Okay, nets them a bounty hunter kill. And they still have the Aegis. And they're like, actually going, they're going high ground into this. Alliance feeling like borderline desperate at this point. Creeps are actually hitting tier four towers. They're committing hard to this push, but Na'Vi are ready for it. Arc style engaging forward. Loda trying to set, set up the follow up here to the Queen of Pain ult that comes in. Diving pretty far for this one, but Ditya Ra just auto attack him in regular werewolf form is going to get the kill. S4 almost dies to his claws. Ake's there. So much delicious food, but General's in too deep. He will end up dropping. Bulldog looks to try to away. It's like an ult number two, and he's off to the races here. Can Alliance TP out? Who's got one? They're all going to need him. EGM has one, but he can't even get it off as he's about to fall to the wolves. They munch him up. They kill off the bird, too. Alliance just can't handle Ditya. On top. I think Wall Dendi is looking for kills. Super desperate at the late. The Batrider. No, I don't know if he needs it. Dendi might be able to kill Bulldog off on his own. He's going in there, laying into the dog. He pops him there. An easy grab. Orchid confidently looking to strut up on the high ground. Rubik will buy his own gem. And General Hunt, he gets Loda, drags him in again. It's another track kill, but Navi don't need gold. They just need dead bodies to litter this map so they can wipe EG Alliance and the rest of them off. And they get the second kill here. Rubik down, already bought the gem, doesn't have to buy back. Loda buys back, but he only crushes Seneko, and it feels like this is how it ends for Alliance. Not with a bang. This is a whimper. This is ugly. Even a Sunstrike massacring Alliance, running them down. This is not family friendly at all, and there it is. GG! You give out Navi every last one of their signature heroes, and they just run circles around Alliance. I heard you call them EGF at him. I was like, dang, don't put them down like that, LD! <laughs> EGF. <laughs> EGF. Ugly. Ugly way to finish the series for Alliance. Not like they could have taken a 2 0, and. You got to give credit to Navi. They they had an entire game plan built around the bounty hunter track gold, and they executed it to perfection here. Yeah, General's Batrider really showing his strength right there, and 
certainly to get a huge morale boost after that game number two.